Hey, Matt here with Mr. Energy. Hey, today we are building a wall. We are building a dividing wall between our two car and our one car garage for our renters in our basement apartment. Getting some stuff out of the way. We've got bicycle rack. And now we're just running a string to see how close these two walls match up. They're pretty close. We're about four inches. So I think we're going to make this work. We need a few trimmers to get it flush with the foundation. We are two inches on this side. So a two by four and then a piece of strip of OSB. Nice and flush. Here we are, we're flushed out. Double check in our measurements. We've got some pressure treated lumber for the bottom plate and our top plate, just getting it marked out for a door. So we're going 24 inches on center rather than 16. It's not a load bearing wall, just a divider. Whenever you're nailing a wall together you want to make sure your hand isn't too close because the nail could come through an inch or so and it could get you just cutting some trimmers and we've got our header for the door Cutting some blocks. I always make sure to get those knots out of the way. Not fun to nail one of those. I'm doubling up those trimmers in the middle. That's where four foot is going to be the split in our sheeting. Slide it in place, get it level. Just 
shoot him again. Snap at a chalk line. Should have done that first, but... It works. Here's the other half of the wall. And I did this in two pieces just to make it easy to do it by myself. Here we've got a piece that we need to notch about three quarters of an inch. This is our top plate to get around that bracket for our garage door opener. We got lucky and that top plate lined up perfectly with a truss. So we were able to get that whole top plate nailed in nice. Some backing for our sheeting. All right, we are ready for sheeting. All the two by fours are framed and we've got some OSB. I think it's a lot stronger and it's about the same price and it's less work. I don't have to mud and tape a bunch of drywall. Ready to shoot down the base plate. Got some concrete nails. The code on this is every four feet, but like I said, we don't need to be the code because this is just a dividing wall. Finish this sheeting real quick. And of course, the last piece you cut always has to be the most difficult. The wall wasn't exactly square with that concrete footing. And the floor was uneven. Here it is. Thank you so much for watching. Keep working hard. Be creative. And always... Do your best. We'll see you on the next video.